So this single baby chick is the most cared for lucky chick in the whole wide world. He has two mamas. And these happen to be the two best mamas on the whole property. They always take such good care of their babies. So these two were laying on a nest together for some reason. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I had bad luck with that with a different hen, but I was like, these two are really good. Let's just see what happens. Turns out, um, that was the only egg that was fertile. It was from the last batch of young chicks that were inside of this aviary. And uh, so it was some of their first eggs. So some of them were like narrower and, um, but anyway, um, I was like, well, you know, one of them might be fertilized by uh, one of these, uh, the last main male we just had that passed away because he had access uh, to them when I would let them out and roam. Anyway, um, so they laid on a nest together. And after this one hatched and a couple days later, I finally brought the eggs in and candled them. And there were only two other fertile ones, but, uh, but, uh, they were kind of floating. So I'm pretty sure that they were, uh, not going to hatch anyway. So yeah, so now this, this, this little guy or girl, I'm about to, uh, move those juveniles over there. There's 13 of them into here and then move these two and that baby into there got a lot of work to do. I'm going to shovel out all the dirt because they've been in there for a while. So I want to have something nice and fresh for that baby to scratch around in. Um, he could easily get a disease if he, if I put him in there right now. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, this is a long video just for this little chick, but who gets, who gets to get raised by two awesome mamas? I mean, besides me and my brother and my sister. If you want to count my aunt and my mama. <laughs> but anyway, I think it's incredible. Like, you don't understand how amazing these two hens are. Watch, I'll just approach and watch how protective they are. They won't attack me. Oh, look at them. They both puffed up right away. They're like, okay, come on over here, baby. Come on over here. See, they're twins too. They're the same kind of hen. They're just the best mamas in the whole world. I'm gonna make sure that baby survives. If it's a rooster, it's gonna be our next main rooster because he'll, he'll be very, very family oriented, hopefully. Just like these ones. These ones all grew up together. So I'm hoping they carry the same trait as those two that grew up together. There were th four different mamas in here with them. And if you understand how chickens work, Chickens will fight. Mama chickens will fight each other if there's not enough room. These four hens literally would call out to each other's babies. Like they all grew up happy together. Fortunately, eight of these 13 are female. So I have eight more hens that will hopefully act like those two hens. So we got a pretty, I've, we actually got some good habits uh, being being nurtured into these these chickens. And this is our new newest female genetic pool I brought in. These are known as the number one predator savvy chicken out there. So I've got all these chickens who are regular hens with banny jeans, and I'm just continuing to breed regular jeans back into them and. Hopefully they maintain the banny gene, which is working. All of our reg all of our hens will sit on eggs, as you can see. Like those are really good mamas, and those aren't banny chickens. And um, these are considered the most predator savvy chickens, um, like the number one, like in the world, I guess. And they're not really sure why, but if you got a bunch of chickens and a bunch of hawks, they'll be the last ones left. And um, in fact, they literally aren't sure why. Anyway, this video is getting kind of long. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and end it. But, um, but yeah, they lay blue eggs. Blue eggs. So I'll know which ones are their eggs so that I can continue to breed them, their lines, back into uh, our regular chickens. I'm going to go ahead and shut this so that they can't get out.